me. That's a mouthful. Okay. <laughs> so may I call you Jose? Yes, please. Okay, Jose. I'm so excited to have you here for the entire month of August where Jose will be introducing us to his position as daykeeper of the new Mayan calendar for the Aquarian age, which covers a whole new 26,000 year cycle. Now, our audience knows that on December 21st, 2012, or thereabouts, the old calendar ended. And everybody, I'm sure, in the audience is wondering, well, why? And, you know, they were also wondering, well, when or if we were going to get a new calendar. And I myself was wondering the same thing. So I'm delighted to know that we do have a new calendar for this um, era. And so could you just give the audience, um, and I'm sure Dr. Sarah is going to fill us in as well, um, how did this happen? Why did it happen? And how will this new calendar benefit all of us? The need for the new calendar started long ago because of the prophecies, not just from the Mayan, but from ancient cultures. We knew that this period of illumination, which uh, we also call the Aquarian Age, yes. will need new tools to manifest uh, intergalactic peace, as we call it. Yes. And therefore, elders from different cultures, mainly Tibet, mm -hmm. the Mayan lands, and the Hopis, they got together okay. and pretty much hire or acquire a team of scientists. Okay. And together they did research, looking into past, present, and future prophecies, and came up with this new tool for the next 26,000 years, wow. which we call... The sixth sun calendar. Okay. So it was a collaborative, you know, um, effort, which actually makes sense when we're looking at the uh, Aquarian age where we're supposed to collaborate and live in harmony with, with each other versus the old Piscean era where we were competing and, you know, basically that warrior consciousness. Is, is that correct? It is uh, absolutely correct. The collaboration between ancient wisdom, tradition, and s common sense science, and also mathematics and physics from what we know as the Western world it has all come together to deliver this new tool. Wow. How amazing it is, is that, it Dr. Is Sarah? It is so amazing. And what's um, is the elders came together years ago mm -hmm. and transmitted in such a manner that those cultures had the same calendar. Isn't that interesting? And this time, in real time, video, science, measurement, all comes into factor. And we're all integrated, as was predicted, um, over thousands of years ago. What I love about uh, this is our, we've done so many things together and yeah. I'm so excited to have. This is Jose's second time on Divine on the Love show. Talk, right? And I love sharing that you, from the day that you were born, th the way that language was taught to you was to be a keeper of the records from 66 thousand years ago and it's so exciting to have your wisdom here and to share with us what can be expected how long does the aquarian age calendar cover 26,000 cycles of 365 days or you know there was 26,000 years 26,000 years starting and 2012, December okay. 21st. But let's clarify something um, mm -hmm. just so that I get clear. You know, the old Piscean era or eon was approximately 2,000 years. So the Aquarian age, will that be approximately 2,000 years? You know how it's broken up um, into 12, you know, 2,000 times 12? That is the beauty of Somewhere? the new tool yeah. because... It has integrated 23 systems of the ancient times, including uh, the Greek. Okay, the system. Greek calendar. So okay. It is going to be, if you're talking about the Aquarian age within the calendar, it is that's going to last 2,000 years. Also. Okay, all right. I just wanted to clarify that. I didn't know if that had changed. And then we'll move on into the next age after the Aquarian age, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So the way that the elders and daykeepers, the Mayan elders, the Hopi, the Tibetan 
elders would describe the calendar. What is the purpose of these 26,000-year calendars? We have entered a period that we call the period of illumination. Yes. So illumination, the period of illumination, light and love and peace and harmony. And then we just came out of a dark cycle, right? I would definitely call the Piscean era pretty dark. We can call it dark. In our Mayan lands, uh, there's no dark or light. So there's no duality in the Mayan consciousness? There's all unity consciousness? Yes, and that is the goal, to be transferred to the entire humanity where we can no longer have um, duality. Yeah. Led by the female nation, the women nation, deliver into this, into this new era that we're in transition into it. Yes. Well, let, let's let's just uh, elaborate a little bit on that because the Piscean era was very patriarchal um, and it goes back f- much further than just the, the past 2,000 years. And so um, there... Uh, just so that men don't get all like up in arms and, you know, think, <laughs> oh my God, you know, we're talking about, you know, women taking over and then women are going to be like the Amazons, you know, who were going to dominate men. And so there's still a lot of fear, you know, among men when you say that, you know, anybody, not you, but when anybody says, oh, you know, this is going to be the era of the divine feminine. A lot of the men, you know, are like, oh, I don't know about that. I think that, you know, they might want to um, get back at us for <laughs> for what we did to them in the Piscean Age. So please, like, elaborate on that just a little bit. Well, we are all 50-50. We're exactly. all female and male. Yes. And that's one of the things that are taught to children in uh, some of the ancestral lands, and that is why we, we just want – to offer a way of life and seeing things to everyone. Have yeah. That hasn't been done ever. In so humanity. so are, are you saying then that if people will shift into, into the perceptive perception, you know, like some of the Ascended Master teachings are like you're in a male body, right? And so in your male body, then you are 60% male and like 40% female, you know, which kind of holds you in that, you know, masculine, you know, uh, body. And so I'm a female, so I'm essentially 60% female and 40% male. But are you saying that as we move more into the Aquarian age, that we will become more balanced, more 50-50? That is the goal. Okay. Yes. All right. So, because I, I, I know there are people out there who are going, no, I am so <laughs> not 50-50, okay? And that's true. We're not there yet. Not but there but yet. it's good to have goals, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, I am so, let, let me make a couple of announcements. Jose is going to be giving a workshop this coming Sunday in Glendale. You just go to Divine Love Talk on Facebook, and there's the information on there where you will be able to come out in person and meet with Jose and he's going to be introducing the new astrology based on this new Mayan calendar and it's absolutely amazing. So um, may I volunteer myself with my birthday later on to be a little guinea pig so that people can get, (laughs) you know, an idea of, um, and and guys, this is spontaneous because I tried to get him to do it over the phone uh, the first time I talked to him and he didn't. (laughs) So I'm being a little selfish. Okay. I want him to do mine first and then you'll get my reaction and everybody who knows me knows that I am so like just, you know, whatever the the truth just like pops out. I can't help it. So um, thank you for for giving me that honor. And in the latter half of the show, we're going to have some people call in and whoever is going to be the lucky caller or two, you might be able, you'll be able to get, um, Jose to give you some insight into the new astrology based on the Mayan calendar and your birthday. That's very, very exciting. Yeah, okay. Is. What's really amazing is this new calendar has tools. Um, Jose had been given from birth what his purpose was. It How was about that? something that he was trained for. He was set free. The Mayan day keepers are trained from the very beginning. But uh, would, from- wouldn't that be beautiful, Dr. Sarah and uh, Jose, if every child 
um, when they were born were had were given that gift tools. of knowing, you know, well, you have a divine purpose, yes, you know, here. And I think that's what's so beautiful about this calendar is, and about it can help you with that, right? A reading really helps you tap into your purpose. what your purpose here in form is. And so it's so exciting to have this being offered and that the elders in their wisdom coming together crafted a way in which each person can feel connected to the this new age, this new era that we collectively are birthing. Okay. It, it, so so let me point out right quickly, you're on point, Dr. Sarah, because most of my students, all these college students, um, that's the primary thing that they come to me with is they want to know, oh, my God, why am I here? What is my purpose? I know I'm supposed to be doing something. And so you're saying, Dr. Sarah, and I think I'm hearing from you, Jose, also that um, the Mayan calendar and the astro, the new astrology, Astrology, can it help people get in touch with their purpose in the same way that that you were, you know, given that information when you were younger? That is uh, the um, duty that they have. So the compass with this new tool. Yes. Wonderful. The, you can just imagine the duty. It is the purpose of the duty of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can just imagine a world where everyone knows exactly what to do. Yeah. And and now, now let me just say that's not going to take away your free will. We're still on Earth. You know, it's a free will zone. <laughs> Absolutely. But it's just kind of cool to know that if you want to know, you know, there's a tool that can help you. And then if you want to step into fulfilling that divine plan or that purpose, that's a beautiful thing versus kind of being in the dark. Does that make sense? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. So beautiful. And what are some of the other tools that this calendar brings in and your readings bring in? Yeah, I have to say that um, when you do a reading, that is, we don't really, we don't impose our teachings. Of course. We just bring it to the table and then, mm -hmm. yes, it's absolutely free will to absolutely. anyone to even accept them or not. Yes. So uh, some of the other tools that we have is that when you practice these ways, then you have all these tools, including daily ceremony, when you honor yourself, you honor yourself when you were a little girl or yes. boy, you honor yourself when you're in the present time, mm -hmm. and you honor your future lifetimes. How about that? When you have this and you practice it every day, everything flows. It, I it would truly does. Yes, I would agree 100%. Now, I want to also announce that you brought some of those crystal skulls with you, did you not? I sure did, yeah. Yes, and we're going to be introducing uh, in the second half the crystal skulls, and I'm so curious because I know everybody has seen these movies about the crystal skulls and you know, I want people to get a little more information about that. So coming up in the next half hour, we're going to have the Crystal Skulls. I also want to announce that Kim Michaels, who uh, every week is going to be delivering a message from the Ascended Masters. He has a new message this week that's coming up after commercial break. So this is an exciting show today, having Jose... In studio, I'm, I feel so blessed and so honored, Jose, to have you here and to share this knowledge with us. I also want to encourage people to um, call in. I'll be giving the number after the next segment break for people to call in, you know, if they have questions or if they want to get a reading from Jose. So um, are we going into commercial break? I don't hear the music. Okay. So we are going into commercial break. You're listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant. My co-host, uh, the lovely, divine Dr. Sarah Larson, is in studio with us, and we're so honored to have Jose... CRN Travelers, relax at the beautiful Fountain Grove Inn and Conference Center in Santa Rosa, California. Come to quality and come to luxury. Experience the newly renovated guest rooms. They're generously sized and they're decorated in the Tuscan tradition. They have great, incredible pillow-top mattresses, luxurious linens, and down-fill comforters. The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi and Internet access. There's warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and you can visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar. It's the ideal place to relax and enjoy a glass of wine and watch our What's Cooking on Wine show on CRN with host Larry Van Alst on Wednesdays. It's the Fountain Grove Inn, Hotel, and Conference Center located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country. It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit 
FountainGroveIn.com. Are you nearing eligibility for Medicare benefits? Then you know now is an important time in your life. Medicare benefits can be a complicated puzzle. You don't want to overpay for your Medicare coverage or get the wrong plan. Let Health Markets Insurance Agency help you. With one free phone call, a licensed insurance agent will help you select a Medicare plan that's right for you and your budget. If you're becoming eligible for Medicare, call today and learn how to get the most out of your benefits. 800-793-1960. 800-793-1960. Health Markets Insurance Agency is the DBA or assumed name of Insphere Insurance Solutions, Inc., which is an authorized insurance agency in all 50 states in the District of Columbia. Not all agents are licensed to sell all products. Service and product availability varies by state. Call 800-793-1960. 800-793-1960. Trying to sell your old car? Instead, donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind. Pickup is free and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats, whether they run or not. Call right now and receive a free three-day vacation voucher to over 50 locations. Call 1-800-785-9618. Donate your car today. That's 1-800-785-9618. The Sherman at South Point presents a very special performance benefiting the Children's Alopecia Project. Half Chinese, half Irish. You like to get drunk and do laundry all the time? I don't know what the... Along with singing group, the Alley Cats. Hilariously musical showcase all in one. One show only Friday, August 14th. And tickets available at the box office. Online at SouthPointCasino.com or charged by phone. 702-797-8055. And the Alley Cats. Performing together for the Children's Alopecia Project at the South Point. What? Okay, we're back with uh, Divine Love Talk and our segment with uh, Kim Michaels and his message from the Ascended Masters. So um, are we ready for our, our weekly message from the Ascended Masters with Kim Michaels? I am an Ascended Master. I hold a spiritual office for planet Earth, namely the office of the Divine Mother. This means that I hold the mother flame for each and every human being embodied on this planet. I love you as only the the Divine Mother can love, a love that is beyond what you normally see as human love. I tell you about my spiritual office before I give you my name, for I want you to know that my office is universal, although my name is often associated with a Christian religion. The name I use as an Ascended Master is that of Mother Mary. I do this for several reasons. One is that I want you to know that I have been an embodiment on Earth, so I know what it is like to be in a physical body on a planet as dense and as difficult as Earth. I also want to honor the fact that in my last embodiment, it was my privilege to be the physical mother of the magnificent being you know as Jesus. But I want you to know today that I am an Ascended Master because I have transcended all human value judgments, all divisions, all characteristics that people use to divide each other, to judge each other, to put other people down. My beloved, the one thing I would like to impress upon you is that there is a fundamental difference between the consciousness of an Ascended Master and the consciousness of most human beings in embodiment. This planet is a very difficult environment, especially for those people who are beginning to awaken to the fact that they are more than material, physical beings. Those who will be open to my words know that you are spiritual beings in a human body. But do you also realize that you are a spiritual being in a human mind? What you normally see as your mind and what many people on earth see as themselves is just an outer clothing you have taken on 
as you have taken on the physical body? What does it mean to be truly free? It means to be free of this outer mind and its value judgments, its, tenden- its tendency to discriminate based on outer characteristics, its tendency to apply a value judgment and say that those people who fit in this group are superior to those people of that other group, perhaps even superior to all other human beings. In order to ascend and become an ascended master, you need to transcend this outer consciousness, the dualistic, relative, judgmental consciousness. One of the greatest disservices ever done to humankind is the creation of the idea that it is God who is the angry judge in the sky and who has created the value judgments that human beings so eagerly apply to each other. One of the greatest services you could give to yourself and to other people is to make an effort to transcend this judgmental consciousness and realize that you are a universal spiritual being who is beyond any of the value judgments found on earth. You are also a universal spiritual being who has the ability to connect to the universality in all other human beings. I know well that there are many people who will reject this idea because they are not done with a judgmental consciousness. They actually want to continue to judge others. But I also know that those who are the forerunners for a new age have the potential to awaken from the judgmental consciousness to accept who you are as universal spiritual beings, to begin to see it in each other, and then to begin to see it in all. And this will shift the conscious awareness of many people. It is to this end that we of the Ascended Masters have dedicated ourselves, and it is to this end that we give our teaching. have Jose Manique Munoz coming back after commercial after commercial break. He will be doing a reading for me. We're going to be introducing the Crystal Skulls. You're listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN with my divine co-host, Dr. Sarah Larson, in studio today. And we will be back with more of Jose and the Mayan calendar and the Crystal Skulls after commercial break. Thank you. Located in the heart of Maui's premier resort, Kanapali Beach Hotel is officially recognized as Hawaii's most Hawaiian hotel and the number one best value in Hawaii. With a range of accommodations and affordable dining options, this is the ideal setting to turn Hawaiian dreams into lifelong memories. Live Hawaiian entertainment every evening, free year-round children's programs, weekly arts and crafts fairs, welcome breakfast, and departure kukui lei ceremonies add to the value. Swim in the whale-shaped pool. Indulge in the fabulous spa and hotel salon. Enjoy Hawaiian hospitality at its best at the Ka'anapali Beach Hotel. Call 800-262-8450 or go to kbhmaui.com. That's kbhmaui.com. Aloha. Hi, I'm Joan London, and if you're worried about your parent or a loved one living alone like I was, and you want reliable senior care information, then call A Place for Mom, the nation's largest senior living referral service. You'll get free information on assisted living, Alzheimer's care, nursing homes, even important financial information. They had obviously researched every place, not just given me names. Mm -hmm. They found me a place for what she could afford, and it was magnificent. We're now... Very confident that she's safe, and they just helped every step of the way, and I can't thank them enough. So if you're struggling to find reliable senior living information, call a place for mom. This is a free service, and you can trust them to help you. If you're struggling to find reliable senior living information for your mom or dad, then call or go online to get the free help you need during this turbulent time. Call now, 800-471-5173, 800-471-5173. 
I am a non-attorney spokesperson. Attention men who've taken Androgel or any other testosterone therapy products. Androgel or other low-T products have been linked to heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, even death. Scientific studies indicate that the use of testosterone therapy products may double a man's risk of heart attack. If you or a loved one took Androgel or a testosterone therapy product and suffered from a heart attack, stroke, pulmonary embolism, deep vein thrombosis, or any other cardiac event, you might be entitled to financial compensation. You have rights, and you need to let us fight for your rights. And you pay no fees unless we win. So call the Tort Attorneys right now. 800-557-7921. 800-557-7921. That's 800-557-7921. Cases may be referred to participating law firms in your jurisdiction. Hi, welcome to Staples. What can I help you find today? Yeah, hi. I need a new printer. Mine's way too slow. Perfect timing. This week we've got amazing deals on all regularly priced HP printers in the store. Up to 50% off. Wow, you're a lifesaver. That's not all. All HP Inc. is buy one and get the second half off this week. Wow, must be my lucky day. It's your lucky week, but only this week. Make big savings happen. Make better printing happen. Staples, make more happen. Offers end 815. 50% discount excludes HP toner and limit two per customer. May not be combined with other offers while supplies last. See store or staples.com for details. Homeowners, there's never been a more affordable time to help protect your home and loved ones. You can now get a $100 Visa card from Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, with the installation of a new ADT monitored system. Call Protect Your Home today at 1-866-669-8954. That's 1-866-669-8954. Call now. 36-month monitoring contract required. General terms and conditions apply. Visit protectyourhome.com forward slash terms. Okay, we're back with more of Divine Love Talk and Jose Monique Munoz. Um, Jose, uh, there's a specific glyph for every day on the Mayan calendar, and he drew a picture. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, we can see it. Okay, this is today's glyph, and uh, tell him the name of it. Uh, in the Mayan world, it's called chiquin. Okay. Or bird. It means that in this, in the Northern Territory, we call it eagle. Okay. And what it means in a ceremonial way is today is the day to pray and be grateful for having vision, Ooh. eagle vision. Ooh. Uh, we pray and we are grateful to uh, for the ability to, uh, of us flying high yeah. and soaring in the air in the spiritual realm and also be able to fly, as we call it, fly outside the box. So it's a very good day okay. for... A Visionaries. Talk, a talk like this to be on the radio okay. is the perfect day because we want the audience to be able to think outside the box yeah. and fly outside the box just like the eagle. Absolutely. And the eagle has a much wider per, uh, perception or perspective on things. Yes, yeah, so thank you for that. And um, let me announce the call-in number, 818-353-1276. Um, in the latter half of um, this segment, we'll be taking callers. And um, Jose promised to do a quick reading for me. Okay, my birthday is coming up August 28th, 1954. That's my birthday. Okay, okay so. so excited. So what we do here is uh, the first we clear our air or our spirit. Okay. And what happens during the reading is I'm speaking through you and you're speaking through me. Okay. And mainly the whole idea is so I'm not going to per se teach or tell you anything that you don't already know because right. it's you speaking through me. Got it. And this goes back to mem ancient memories okay. that we have. So we have, according to the birthday, this is, if you, there was a picture of what you are and who you are today, that's what it will look like. Okay. And this glyph we call the path. And in your case, there's 52,000 different combinations of birthdays. Right. So, in your case, we are uh, seeing that you are what we call a citizen of the new world. That's me. Uh, we call it the shining path. Okay. There's 13 different paths. In your ways, this is the shining path that you're walking. And by having this uh, glyph for your birthday, then I can do my calculations. Okay. 
and go back to the moment of conception. Okay. By tapping into the moment of conception, then we can see that, take a peek into the last lifetime. Okay. And by seeing here, we have what we call cat, the wisdom of the lizards. Okay. And the realm that we speak in this calendar, it tells me that before this lifetime, you were traveling for a very long time through space and time. And bringing those memories into your childhood uh, could have created some kind of inconvenience or... Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Inconvenience <laughs> or, or trouble, especially going back to school oh, because yeah. it most likely was really hard to adapt to this planet in the school system. You probably got bored <laughs> because of who you have been traveling space and then come to a classroom is... It's a big change. So we can see that childhood goes back to the present time where you're a shining path. From there, we decide that uh, or we can take a look at the uh, type of people, energy that can help you. And there's two very powerful energies side by side to you. We see all the medicine people. And when I say medicine, it might include Western medicine sure. or ancient medicine. Mm -hmm. These people want to come to you, uh, help accomplish your mission in this lifetime. Okay. And they call, we call them Tihash. They are medicine people okay. in both uh, Western and ancient medicines, including wisdom keepers that want to come and help you unconditionally to uh, fulfill your purpose of service in this time around. That would include Dr. Sarah, wouldn't yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> She's Eastern and Western. Mm -hmm. And then on the other side, we have what we call the transformers, the transformation, the uh, crystal skulls. All right. These ancient computers have uh, many... What is, what is that one made out of? What's, what kind of stone? Uh, this is made out of tabulated coral. Oh, uh, no. It exists okay. in the uh, desert in Mongolia. Okay. And uh, so these beings, which are also working humans... Okay. Uh, these are the people who are terrified by the idea of death. Yeah. And they c will come to you to both, seeking help and uh, to help you unconditionally. Oh, wait. Say that one more time. I'm not clear what you meant. Yes. These are people. Okay. These two energies. Okay. We, we call them names, but they are people who okay. want to come to you to help you fulfill your mission. Okay. So... In both worlds, in the spiritual world, they have the crystal skulls. Right. In the practical world, we have people. Okay. We are made of water and minerals, so yeah. we are walking crystal skulls with True. information. Okay. These people want to come to your service unconditionally uh, to help you fulfill your mission. Okay. So I think that basic principle of everything is energy. Okay. And who we are is energy, and who these crystal skulls are our energies, these pure energies, okay. the crystal skulls hold that absolute pure frequency, okay. even though humans and all other things transmit a frequency that has different aspects to it. These transmit a consistent frequency. And this one, the frequency and the name of this one is... Um, by the way, I wanted to say thank you to Kim Kimberly... She gifted me these skulls because they have been in a shell for a while, and wow. now they are being in ceremony traveling with me. Uh, this happened only a month ago. So but this particular skull or the whole set of skulls? Three. Uh, came three skulls from Kimberly? Mm -hmm. Let's hold up the other ones. So Can, may I touch one? Please. All right. So, so this one is love. That is the skull right. love. Oh. And so, of course, divine love. Divine would this, love. That's would, appropriate, right? Th that skull would want to come to you. Absolutely. And would help you share the, uh, what is being transmitted. And so the frequency of love being drawn All to right. the frequency. they When you connect with them, what happens when you're holding a skull? Okay. Yes. Talk, let's talk about that. Different things happen. I, went at, uh, I was at an expo yesterday, and uh, they were holding, we have uh, love, may, may peace, and harmony. This, this one is what? Peace. Peace. All right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, when you hold them, um, 
we have this uh, consciousness that we tap into it, and people do receive messages through them. Okay. So now let me just say my, um, just for the audience, okay, my understanding, because I've always been into um, crystals and, and stones, is that, you know, there are recorder crystals and, and they um, hold energy, like piezoelectrical energy. And I know without, you know, quartz crystals, we wouldn't have computers, you know, uh, watches. Um, so they do, you know, um, hold energy, but do they also hold records? I've heard of recorder crystals that hold records. Is that what some of these do? Yes. Uh, according to science, I recently just uh, last Saturday, uh, we had a meeting with uh, the scientist who has written many books on the crystal skull. His name is uh, Jap okay. from Europe. And he uh, gave me everything, uh, the rundown on science and the crystal skulls, and he did say, declare Kamesimi, which is this one, the one that originally was scared enough. This this one. That's the one I was just holding? Yes, yes. that you were just holding. Come and See Me was found in the Amazon River. Yes. And it's called Come and See Me. What Cam- is that? Kame. Kame, Kame. See Me. But oh. when you say what it together, it what is it transformation mean? into different languages. Oh, transformation. Yes. Okay. What's incredible about this skull is it was found in the Amazon. Uh-huh. It found its way to some students uh-huh. that were um, told that the right person would show up in their life. Okay. And this is an incredible story. I'd love for you so to how share the story. <laughs> I Tell was actually way. hitchhiking on the way to Canada and okay. in, in, uh, Arizona. All right. I was going to see my mother, and uh, they picked me up. They have lost their flight in Phoenix. Okay. So they rented a car, and that's how we got together. So so these students that were traveling. And they, they had the skull with them, and then you just showed up, and the they said, you're the one? Well, they had a protocol of questions, a list of questions okay. given by their elders. Okay. But in a conversation just like the one we have, and you ask me questions, mm-hmm. and I just give you the answers okay. from what I know. Right. So by the time the right ended, they told me, gave me the suitcase and told me we are the right guardian, and, and they told me where they have found it and all the rest Wonderful. of the story. Wonderful. So mm-hmm. he basically, just like the Dalai Lama is mm-hmm. chosen yeah. and the Dalai Lama's oracle are chosen, there's a series of questions that the elders that were holding this and transmitted it to the students mm-hmm. had. That list of questions wow. wound up, um, and this was at in Korea mm-hmm. in front of 30,000. 300,000. 300,000. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 300,000. You spoke in front of 300,000 in and Korea. And this was given to him? This one? Oh, this, this is it. he is the, the keeper okay, of, this of this one. one. Okay. This would, um so it's his responsibility and the person it's like a marriage. Okay, yeah. So the uh, what I was wanted to say about the from the science aspect, uh, okay. there's a lot of talk about thirteen skulls yes. and um the scientists I met you declare come and see me the ninth skull. Okay. So we haven't ones. found all thirteen yet. Uh, yes, and he, what he told me was, according to science and elders collaborating together, it's not 13, it's 13 times 4, the ones that need to be wow. to the surface. And so they're coming up as we, uh, probably as our consciousness rises, you know, they're showing up. Now, my understanding also is that, you know, we are basically carbon-based turning into crystalline base because we have silica in our body, which is a part of the crystalline structure. So is that your understanding as well, that we're moving into a crystalline structure? From yes. carbon base? There is a crystal grid and a crystal skull That's calendar that we right? also have uh, available for the public. I wanted to mention that. Okay. Uh, because as he said, uh, with the science aspect, uh, silicium dioxide, mm-hmm. that's the material of the skull, and that's what eventually um, thousands and thousands of years into the future will be. Like so we, we're constantly transforming. Evolving. Transforming. So let me announce that um, Jose told me that he is looking for students um, to essentially um, apprentice, you know, for o- over a three-year period so that he can transmit this knowledge to other students who can become teachers. And I've, of course, volunteered to become one of his students <laughs> <laughs> for the next three years. Um, and so I want to invite those of you who 
are coming out on Sunday, you know, go to Divine Love Talk's uh, Facebook page and get the information. You don't want to miss this opportunity to come out and meet this amazing human being. Um, what I was touched by, Jose, was your humility, um, you know, holding such a sacred office, you know, of holding the history and the records, you know, of the Mayan people. Wow. You know, you're a walking um, library of, of information and knowledge. And so to be able to sit at your feet and learn, what an honor. So I want to invite those of you who feel called, you know, to become a student of Jose's to please show up um, on Sunday for this event. You can register um, with the information on Divine Love Talk's Facebook page. And right now... Now on Divine Love Talk, I've put some of the pictures up already right. uh, that we've had. And you also have Facebook that they can connect with you yes. at. Yes. How, how else can they connect with you? Um, you've got an email address. and your UnityLovePeace33 at gmail.com. That's correct. All yes. right. So you can email uh, Jose at UnityLovePeace33 at gmail.com. Now, again, Jose will be back here for the next, the, the entire month of August, sharing this amazing information. Do we have a caller on, on the line? Okay. So very quickly, let's go to a caller. Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. I was listening in, and um, I was very intrigued by um, Jose, and I was uh, wondering if I could get some information about my birthday, if so very quickly, so you're um, calling from Crystal, California. Uh, Crystal, <laughs> from oh, California. Crystal from California. Okay. Crystal from California. Okay, Crystal from California. That's so awesome. And We're your so birthday, glad to have Crystal? you. Thank you. What's your birthday? Oh, my birthday is September twentieth, nineteen eighty one. September twentieth, nineteen eighty one. Jose. All right. He's, he, his his brain is ticking. Is there a, <laughs> is there a particular um, question or reason why you call today? Um, I just wanted to um, learn more about the significance of um, birthdays um, and how they play a role in our lives. And I was wondering if there was any insight that you had um, for me based on my birthday. What was the year again? Uh, 1981. But did you want to know your purpose? I mean, anything specific that you can tell him? Um, yeah, definitely. My purpose, um, you know, uh, how how my actual birthday um, you know, correlates to, you know, how I'm supposed to be living my life. If, if, if there's some sort of insight that he can provide me based on, on, on knowing my birthday. Okay. Okay. So if you could write this down, uh, your level of consciousness is at 11 right now. and Based on a scale of Based what? on a scale from 1 to 13. Okay. okay. Wow. And so your position of authority is perfect. Do not be afraid to exercise your authority, authority. with authority. You have divine authority to do your job. So I hope that makes sense to wow, you. Wow, that really does. Wow. And 11 is a master number. Yeah. Wow, Ooh. thank you so much. You know, that's something that I've actually been, um, I've struggled with my entire life is with exercising my authority. I always have a tendency to be timid. All right. Um, so well, it's very, very uh, empowering to hear well, you say that. Well, go for it, Crystal. We're going into commercial break. Thank you so much, Jose, you for, much. for sharing that. Um, and we will be back with more of Jose Manique Munoz. We're so delighted to have you here and um, the delightful and divine Dr. Sarah Larson. We'll be Thank wrapping you. this up after commercial break. You're listening to Divine Love Talk on CRN. I'm your host, Dr. Parthenia Grant. You can find uh, Jose at unitylovepeace33 at gmail.com. CRN travelers relax at the beautiful Fountain Grove Inn and Conference Center in Santa Rosa, California. Come to quality and come to luxury. Experience the newly renovated guest rooms. They're generously sized and they're decorated in the Tuscan tradition. They have great, incredible pillow top mattresses, luxurious linens and down filled comforters. The Fountain Grove Inn also offers complimentary Wi-Fi and internet access. There's warm cookies and coffee every evening in the hotel lobby, and you can visit the newly remodeled Equus Restaurant and Equus Lounge with its new wine bar. It's the ideal place to relax and enjoy a glass of wine and watch our What's Cooking on Wine show on CRN with host Larry Van Alst on Wednesdays. It's the Fountain Grove Inn Hotel and Conference Center located in the heart of Sonoma Wine Country. 
It's easily located in Santa Rosa off the 101 Fountain Grove Parkway exit. Call 707-578-6101. That's 707-578-6101 or visit FountainGroveIn.com. What are you going to do with your old car? You can try selling it, you could junk it, or you could donate it to Heritage for the Blind. Your car will be towed away for free, and your donation is tax deductible. Just call 1-800-785-9618. Heritage for the Blind accepts cars, vans, trucks, and boats. It doesn't matter if your vehicle runs or not. It will be towed away for free, and you'll be supporting those that need help. Heritage for the Blind is a non profit organization that helps the visually impaired live fuller lives. Call right now to donate your car and as a special thank you for calling, you'll receive a free 3-day vacation voucher to many exciting locations. Call Heritage for the Blind right now. 1-800-785-9618. Donating is easy and your vehicle is towed away for free. Plus, you'll get a free vacation voucher. Call now 1-800-785-9618. That's 1-800-785-9618. Homeowners, now is the season to be thinking about your roof because all it takes is one storm to turn a small roof problem into a major leak. If it's time for a new roof, call Sears at 888-465-9720. You can save $500 if you call right now. Sears licensed, fully insured contractors can get your roofing job done right. Just call 888-465-9720. Sears has a variety of shingles and styles that are built for long-lasting performance, and you'll save $500 if you call now. So call Sears for a free in-home Home consultation at 888-465-9720. Hurry, offer ends soon. Not available in all areas. Installation provided by Sears Authorized Licensed Contractors. License information available upon request. That's Sears Roofing. Call right now and save $500. Call 888-465-9720. 888-465-9720. Call Sears now and get that roof repaired. Call 888-465-9720. Okay, we're back wrapping this up. Um, our producer, Athena, wanted Jose to give just a couple more tidbits of information for our caller, Crystal. So what we, uh, by allowing me to see your birthday, we can tap into your childhood and your past life experiences. And also we can take a look at your present right now and see what kind of personalities of people are willing to help you fulfill your mission of authority. And we see here that we have what we call the stormy uh, people, stormy personalities. They snapped. They uh, can sometimes be considered as aggressive in the society. But just keep in mind that these people are actually trying to help you. Mm, that would be me. <laughs> <laughs> What's <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and also, there is uh, there's the other uh, personalities that are willing to help you unconditionally accomplish your mission of authority. We call them the deers, the deers personality. Okay. Those are the ones that are willing to sacrifice themselves for the greater wow. purpose. Okay. So you have the best of both worlds. <laughs> there are people who sacrifice themselves. <laughs> and also the stormy weather is the, the one that snap and they burn the entire forces, forest so they can <laughs> recreate it in a more greener way. Slash and burn, hey. Slash and burn. <laughs> and I would, I will claim the dear me. Yeah, I, that would be me. Absolutely. And I do have the dear aspect as well. Yeah, okay. You do beautifully. Th- thank you so much for that, Jose. And um, I want to remind you guys to please come out, go to Facebook and um, sign up for the workshop on Sunday from noon until 2 o'clock in Glendale uh, with Jose. You'll be able to sign up for personal readings from him as well. So, Jose, close out the show. Share with us whatever you want to close out with. So what I'd like to say is uh, thank Creator and this planet, Mother Earth, for hosting us. Yes. Showing up at the perfect time in a perfect place to co-create this beautiful um, new world that we are co-creating. Uh, we are living in a transitional world right now. We still have friends fighting wars in different parts of the world. We still have friends and families uh, going through famine in different parts of the world. So that is the old world that we're all living from, coming into this transitional world where we can co-create these beautiful spaces and sharing. 
I'd like to invite everyone to keep this in mind. We are living in three different worlds right now, and so we are uh, stepping from one into the other, and the final goal is to step into this new period of illumination, this new beautiful world where we have the sixth sun calendar already to deliver us into this uh, intergalactic harmony, love, and peace. Wow. I've been waiting for this, well, um, since the 60s, dawning of the age of Aquarius. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> and here's Jose on the show. <laughs> so beautiful. We're so grateful for the listeners. And anyone, go to Divine Love Talk, and you can see pictures of each of the skulls. How you can that? see the pictures of the reading that was done for Crystal and for ongoing conversation yeah. with Dr. Parthenia Grant, myself, and Jose. That's Divine Love Talk talk on Facebook, yes. and we are so excited that you're here for the whole month. Yeah, and we'll be back with more of Jose next week, so guys, make sure you call in and uh, come out and meet him on Sunday in person and schedule a personal reading with him. Uh, we're just so blessed to have you. Thank you so much, Jose, for showing up in person uh, for the world. Bantiash, Noel. All right, bless all of you for tuning in, and we will have Kim Michaels back next week with a new message from the Ascended Masters. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Sarah, for coming in. And thank you, Athena, my uh, starseed, my new producer. (laughs) She's in studio today. Taking care of business.